Hello and welcome to Melossa, a unique YouTube channel where you'll find tons of interesting and unique canine content. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and feel free to leave a comment on any of our videos. The Mediterranean region is well known for its many different Melossa breeds and subtypes. In the centre of the Mediterranean Sea, we find Italy, which most likely has the most Melossa breeds and subtypes. This is not surprising considering the location of the country and its history. If we look back in time, the period after the Roman Empire, Italy and especially the southern part of Italy have been owned and occupied by many other kingdoms. In the late 11th century, Sicily was conquered from the Muslims. Without going too deep into details, we can tell you that Sicily and southern Italy belong to the Kingdom of Sicily. The same area, including Sardinia, belonged to the Kingdom of Argon in the 1400s. While later, the area, without Sardinia, was known as the Kingdom of the Two Sicilies. In the mid to late 1800s, the different regions and kingdoms of Italy was gathered to what we today know as the country of Italy. Logically, we can assume that the dogs belonging to the different parties that have invaded and slash or ruled Italy in the past have played at least some part in forming and developing the large variety of dog breeds and subtypes in Italy. To not believe so would be ignorant and not logical, maybe driven by a wish to only see a romantic history of the dog breeds. The official history of the Cane Corso and also the official history of the larger cousin, the Mastino Napolitano, dictate that both are direct descendants of the ancient Roman Molossus, the Canis Pugnax. But common sense tells us, based on Italy's history, that in addition to the old Roman dogs, the Molossa breeds brought to Italy by invaders, rulers and by human migration has played a major part in the development of the Italian Molossa breed, and possibly also in some extent in the development of the Cane Corso. The name of the Cane Corso is derived from the Latin word cohors, that means guardian or protector. The Cane Corso was used as a multi-purpose farm dog for guarding of family and properties, as a protector of livestock, a cattle herder and in hunting. Especially in the central and southern regions of Italy, these hunters often cross the Cane Corso with other breeds for making a more specialised hunting dog. The Mezzo Lavero, a cross between the Cane Corso and tracking hounds or the Italian Greyhound, the Mezzo Sangue, a cross between the Cane Corso and the Scent Hound. The farmers and herders of central Italy often cross the Cane Corso with the Maromano, a Bruise, Flock and Guardian breed to produce a dog that could also protect the Shepherd. Since the Maromano, a Bruzier, was more closely connected to the flock of sheep than the Shepherd. This hybrid dog was called Mezzo Corso. It was also used to control the sheep at the Trasumanza, the migration of sheep from the plains to the mountain grazing fields. There are at least two subtypes of the Cane Corso, the Branchiero Sicilano from Sicily and the Bruschi Calabrese from Calabria. These two subtypes differing from the Cane Corso on only minor points should, even if they have their own breed name, still be regarded as Cane Corso subtypes and not as separate breeds. With the acceptance and international recognition of the Cane Corso, these subtypes surely will vanish and go extinct. In the 1984 publication, The Book of the Dog, it is written, even today, dogs of this old type may be found here and there, some recognised as distant breeds and others lost in the obscurity of unorthodoxy. Readily to mind, come to the Brancheria of Sicily, a now rare short-faced cattle dog. Notice that this was in 1948, that these dogs were already rare, and that about sums up the history of the Cane Corso in the 1900s. A century where these dogs became rarer and rarer. However, in the provinces of Foggia and Ban, the Cane Corso survived up to modern time, and it was here the few dedicated enthusiasts found the specimens that were used in the restoration of the breed. In the early 1970s, there were only a few Cane Corsos left. In 1976, Dr. Brebe wrote an article in the Italian Canal Club magazine which brought attention to the Corso. Dr. Brebe, together with a few enthusiasts that had made contact with Brebe because of his article, set up a rescue operation for the breed. These enthusiasts formed in 1983, the SACC. Societa Amatori Cane Corso. The enthusiast worked hard, and at the beginning of 1994, the Cane Corso was nationally recognised, followed by an international recognition by FCI in November 1996. Since 1996, the Cane Corso has gained much popularity worldwide as a muscular but not massive, active and agile, medium-sized Molossa breed. 
If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel.